coming away on my own and not knowing anybody and making new friends but um, when I got here everyone was so friendly and all the trainers were really supportive and things there's nothing to worry about at all. Before I came to do this course I was an accountant and I had a nine to five job it went over quite a lot but I was really unhappy um, I just wanted a change I found that because I enjoyed the gym and I started competing and things my job was actually getting in the way of what I wanted to do which was the gym so I thought well why don't I make that my passion and I know some people would be like you're crazy it doesn't make as much money as being an accountant but I believe and EPTI support the belief that if you're truly passionate about what you do you'll make it work for you and I know that because I'm a lot happier now, everyone in my life is a lot happier as well. So, yeah, I'd say go for it, take the risk. If you don't, you're just going to be sitting there wondering what if, so. Um, I wanted to train to become a personal trainer because it changed my life so much when I started to get into training myself. You get one life, why don't you spend it doing what you enjoy? And if I can make other people feel good, then why not as an extra Brucey bonus? <laughs> so I chose EPTI because it wasn't a serial box qualification. It needed, there was a, a lot of work, the course was listed perfectly on, on the internet website. It was a reputable brand, um, they really supported their students, it had an aftercare. It wasn't just, oh we want your money, send us a video of you doing A, B and C and we'll send you your certificate in the post. Like, and now being on the course, we've really had to work hard. Like, it is a massive achievement. And I feel so much more confident that I'm a better instructor than some of those guys who I thought were good instructors in the gym. There's so many things that I now know that they were doing wrong or how they're advising their clients in certain ways that aren't really the correct way. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's given me confidence in what I was doing. Whereas before, I'd be like, oh, it's okay for me to train like this. Um, well, now I know exactly how you are supposed to train. For the so. course, when I was at home and I started the online learning, I was a bit, I felt a bit daunted because you had to put all these passwords in at first. Um, but it's fine, I'm just <laughs> technologically awkward. But it was that straightforward that even I got it. <laughs> and at the end of each chapter, there's like a little like drop box or check your learning, which was really good. Um, and then you had all the booklets that you could download which gave you a massive overview of the body, all the muscles, all the teaching points, everything like that which was also really great. But then you had the extra added support which are the videos from Toby and he really gave you specific things to focus on so that you know that your learning is going in the right direction. Um, which again that, that took off a lot of the worry because there is so much course content. But it was really supportive and if you had any questions everybody would be more than happy to ask. Um, to explain, sorry, or like give you a quick call and explain things, like nothing was too much. During my time in Denia, I found the content of the course really well structured. Um, it matched what was in the in the um, their work manuals and the LAPs. The tutors were really supportive. Um, there's, I don't think there's any gaps. I didn't at any point think, oh, I wish they'd done a little bit more in this area, or I wish they'd done a little bit more in this area. Everything was really well explained and. I feel like I've had all the tools now in my little PT toolbox to go away and do what I need to do. To get all that they teach us in in that short amount of space, it has to be that intense. Otherwise, like, they could have easily dragged it out for four weeks, I think. But it's done in two weeks. You're qualified, off you go. But you've got all that information. And then, like I said, when you leave, you've still got all that support. So, yeah, I would definitely recommend doing it. Just get it all done in one go. You'll just don't think it's going to be an easy ride. You're going to have to work physically and mentally hard. If you don't leave exhausted, I bet you haven't passed. <laughs> the tutors were really nice. They were all really supportive and they all have different areas that they were really good at. And I'm actually really going to miss my flatmate. Um, yeah, so I would say if they ever give you the option to go on your own, don't do it. Go with someone. Uh, the student PT clinic was the night of my exam so by the time I got there I was quite tired but I was really lucky because I had this lady Anne who was absolutely adorable. <laughs> the only problem was that we laughed from beginning to end which slowed down the process a lot but it was really good because I apparently <laughs> used that to make all my mistakes in which was great because by the time I came to do my exam I was I was on point. <laughs> <laughs> so it really helped me. I actually felt good the fact that I'd made those mistakes then because as I was training in my actual exam, I knew what not to do 
and like I knew what felt right and I didn't even have to think about it because of my experience in the PT clinic so I would definitely take advantage of it hands down. If I'm doing the course with EPTI I think I've learned to be more motivational and positive in the way that I address situations. I don't mean as in like I'm grumpy or not a people person I just mean instead of saying to somebody don't do that you're doing it wrong using vocabulary like we're remembering to do this and then positive reinforcement when someone's doing something right really ensures that they leave your training session feeling yes tired but they're happy they feel like they've achieved something and they've got that little buzz in their day like they've done good so they'll leave you with that good positive feeling and they're always going to associate you with that feeling but yeah I just feel more confident approaching people talking to people giving them the right motivation and learning different types of people get motivated in different ways you know at what point they're going to punch you in the face and at what point they need you to get down and shout at them or give them positive reinforcement everyone's different so yeah I feel like they've given me all these tools and now it's just up to me how I use it the course I have to say exceeded my expectations in every single way um, yeah it, I didn't think it would push me that hard but physically and mentally like I feel I've worked for two weeks and I'm ready for a little break before I get back into it, but, oh, uh, yeah, it's really, really good. I think the course was definitely a good investment. I think it was well-priced, and the way that it was priced actually even made me think this isn't a, a cereal box qualification. Um, to be honest, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't be more... I feel grateful that they've allowed me to come on the course. It was so good. Um, yeah, just think of, like... You pay like an amount now or you pay in your instalments but you're going to get reaps and bounds of that back throughout your career. Um, they've given you tools that you can use over and over again for like a one-off payment, a one-off section of your life you're going to be studying and then the rest of your life you're happy doing what you want to do. So once you're qualified you've always got a job, you can always make money for yourself. So. Yeah, I would definitely say it's one of the best investments I've ever made. Um, the Business Supremacy course is it's like an it's almost like an add-on. Um, so basically, after you leave here, they're not just going to kick you out into the wild. They'll they'll help you set up the type of business you want. I'm going to use my qualification while I travel, and then hopefully while I travel, I'm also going to um, go look at other fitness areas around the world and nutrition things. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to post little videos and little beach workouts as I go and things that I've learned and then start blogging. Yeah, I think online would be best for me because then I can keep travelling. <laughs>